Hello everyone, I'm Karim G. Abitago, a certified public accountant for more than three years already. So I graduated last April 2015 in Universal College of Paranaque. And currently, I am now the department head of the College of Accountancy at Universal College of Paranaque. I feel welcomed because the faculty members as well as the non-academic staffs are actually very welcoming. They made me feel at home. Kasi I can see that the faculty members are competent, the, the non-academic staffs are very hospitable. So, nung ako yung lumipat sa Universal College of Paranaque, I felt na hindi ako nagkamali sa aking decision. Na-realize ko na tama yung aking naging decision nung dumating na yung time na last semester na namin, so pag-graduate na kami, then they gave us a lineup of faculty members na lahat ay top nature so that we are very prepared for the upcoming board exam. So yung binigay nilang sa aming lineup, so lahat sila ay top notchers, top 3, top 7, top 2, and etc. So that's the time that I realized na hindi kami pinapabayaan ng top management. So they gave us the best lineup that we can get. When I entered into college, I was a scholar. Kasi when I graduated in high school, I am the valedictorian of our batch. So syempre kung valedictorian ka, parang 100% yung scholarship mo. Eh ang problem kasi, that time, na-addict ako sa mobile, not mobile, computer games. So I played Dota starting at 7am, tapos natatapos hanggang 11pm. So halos yung buong oras ko, nailaan ko na sa paglalaro. So nawala na ako ng time para mag-aral. So syempre, as a result of that, nawala yung aking scholarship. Pero hindi naman ako natanggal sa accountancy program. I maintained a specific grade to pass the program. Pero yung specific grade to maintain my scholarship, yun yung aking hindi na na-achieve. So nung nawala yung aking scholarship, gumuho yung mundo ko. Kasi I came from a family na hindi naman well off talaga sa buhay. My father is a tricycle driver. My mother is a plain housewife. So obviously, yung aming main source of income na ang gagaling lang sa aming tatay. That's the time na nag-stop ako for one year. So, nung ako'y nag-stop ng one year, nagtrabaho ako, nag-ipon ako saglit, then nagulat ako one time, sinabi sa akin ng father ko na, Karim, baka gusto mo ulit pumalik, bumalik sa pag-aaral. That is one of my turning point, parang realization point sa buhay na kahit na gano'n ako nagloko, gano'n pa rin ako kamahal ng mga magulang ko. So, pinagpatuloy nila ako sa pag-aaral kahit na hindi ako scholar. And then, nung time na gumraduate na ako, sabi ko nga sa parents ko, kailangan ko na mag-review. E alam nila na mahal ang mag-review talaga for the CTA board exam. Kasi gagastos ka dyan ng libro, gagastos ka ng tuition fee for the review center. So, doon ako tinulungan ng school. So, ang ginawa ng school, sila muna yung gumastos o nilibre nila ako ng aking review cost kasama na yung boarding house so that I can focus for the CPA board exam. And I am very grateful for that talaga. Kasi without the help of my alma mater, I feel, I feel na hindi ko ma-achieve kung ano yung narating ko na ngayon. Kasi hindi lang naman financially nila ako tinulungan eh. Morally, spiritually, Ritually, emotionally, they prepared me for the CPA board examination. Ang main motivation ko talaga yung family ko that time eh. Kasi ang pakiramdam ko, parang, o ang nasa isip ko, itatakwilan nila ako bilang anak. Especially ako yung panganay eh. So sa akin, parang ako yung nasa, parang ako yung next in line in terms of responsibility. Kaya nga nung nagloko ako, so I felt devastated, my pe my parents felt devastated too. So akala ko parang wala ng pag-asa. So after no, nagtrabaho nga ako, so feeling ko di na makapagtapos ng pag-aaral. So when they talked to me and gave me another chance, actually yun yung pinaka-realization ko sa buhay na kailangan kong bumawi na kailangan kong ipakita na deserving ako sa second chance na binigay nila. I told to them na I will make you proud someday, sabi ko sa kanila. Kaya nga nung ako'y nag-aaral na bumalik na sa pag-aaral, talagang nag ako, ginalingan ko. Pero hindi pa rin sumagi sa isip ko na magiging top-notcher ako. Kasi ang pagiging top-notcher is one in a million eh. 
Kaya nga nung ako ay bumalik sa pag-aaral, ang main goal ko lang talaga is to become a certified public accountant. Pumasa sa board. Pero bonus na lang sa akin na binigay ni Lord yung pagiging top notcher eh. And I'm very, I am very, very grateful for that. Tinulungan ako ng mga tao na sa paligid ko. Tinulungan ako ng alma mater ko in order for me to achieve what I am today. What I can tell to them is that college life is very difficult. Hindi lang naman BS accountancy, kahit anong kurso. Basta nasa point ka na nag-aaral ka na sa college, mahirap talaga. So darating dyan yung napakaraming requirements, tapos sabay-sabay na deadline. So you need to manage your time properly. Pero at the end of the day, I would like to tell them na that the opposite of success is not failure. It is the loss of courage to fight back. Kasi I, be I believe that winners never quit. So you need to fight back kapag may mga setback na dumating, kapag may mga trials na kailangan pagdaanan. Kasi failures and trials are ingredients of success. Eh. Hindi sila yung opposite. Eh. You need to fail in order for you to succeed. Just like me, dumating yung point na naadik ako sa computer games. So that's actually the biggest downfall of my life. Pero I fight back. To my Universal College of Paranaque family, thank you so much. So without all of you, probably hindi ko na achieve kung ano ako ngayon. Especially to our dearest president, Mr. Domingo Titay. And to all the faculty members and non-academic staff of our institution. So thank you so much for helping me, for cheering me dun sa mga panahon na feeling ko hindi ko kaya and for supporting me all the way. And for those na nag-iisip kung saan mo gusto mag-aral, please consider our institution. Ang aking masasabi lang, hindi ka magkakamali sa desisyon na gagawin mo if you will choose us.